of, uh, of my sales uh, and the profit, the margins. Um, and this is inclusive of everything, including returns are factored in here um, and Amazon sponsored products. Um, the only thing that this would not be inclusive of would be any, say, like subscriptions, like we use Inventory Lab, um, and also the other pretty big number in here would be sort of the inbound shipping, which I found typically runs about 8 to 10 percent. You know, that is sending it from, from our, our warehouse to, uh, um, to Amazon. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt, but I mean, as you can see, the running 30 days, we're at $46,556. Estimated profit, 10731 um, And the really cool thing that I like is just the margins. I mean, you see we're running at a, about a 23% margin, 80% ROI. Um, so we're, we're pretty proud of that. I think, uh, you know, those are those are some pretty good numbers. Um, so I am real. I am a seller. Uh, and uh, um, and uh, I'm logged in live here. So so um, there you go. There's uh, there's some data for you guys to, to take a look at. Um, I'm just going to close this out. Thank you for sharing that. You know, well, bam. that's the, for me, when I got started, one of the things that kept me going was seeing people's numbers. So I'm a firm believer in sharing numbers because um, sometimes it feels a little bit like maybe, um, you know, you get stuck and you're, you're like, well, maybe no one can make this work. And then you see somebody else that's doing it and you're like, okay, I'm renewed. I'm going to make it work, you know, and it's those moments and, yeah, you just keep going yeah, until it absolutely. works. Yeah, absolutely. It inspires, you know? It mm -hmm. inspires because somebody's done it. Somebody's yeah. done it, which means you can do it, too. Uh, and 100%. And if I can do it, anybody can do it. I know that's sort of a very cliche line. Um, but, you know, this is also a part-time for me. Um, so if it's all right, I'll just tell you a little bit about myself and sort of, you know, who I am and how the business fits into my lifestyle. So um, I'm, I'm in a uh, suburb about 40 minutes south of Boston. Uh, that's where home is for me, uh, just over the line of Rhode Island. I grew up in Rhode Island. So uh, my wife and, and my family are both in, in New England, so we didn't, uh, we didn't venture too far from the nest. Um, yeah, and it's just so funny, the, the events that happen that can just totally change the direction of your life. Um, and so, you know, I sort of stumbled on selling on Amazon because I would follow a gentleman by the name of Bob Proctor. I'm sure Matt and Sherry, you guys know Bob very well. Um, I'm very much into sort of personal development and um, improving myself. And so, you know, Bob Proctor was uh, promoting uh, this selling on Amazon course. So I said, all right, let me check it out. I'd never heard anything about it. Um, and he was uh, promoting a particular course at about $5,000 price tag. And so I wasn't really ready to, to jump in, but just sort of as I showed my numbers here, you know, you start hearing, you know, stories about how people, average people are, are really achieving fantastic results. And so I wanted to learn more. And so that's when I sort of really just started researching, like, what is this selling on, on Amazon? Um, and so I started off doing retail arbitrage and online arbitrage um, and continue to do so to date at a much, you know, certainly lower, lower scale. And that's part of the reason I wanted to team up with uh, Sherry and Matt because um, I wanted to learn from them. Um, you know, I know they're doing, they've got that model figured out pretty well. And so I wanted to learn some of their, their best practices. And really along the way, I mean, I've made a lot of mistakes. I've invested in a lot of different courses, um, you know, and, and so I, I do, I understand I have that luxury because I do have a full-time job. And so I'm able to, you know, really invest in the knowledge and the training, but I wouldn't be here today if it weren't for that. Um, because I've taken courses on wholesale and private label and, uh, you know, some of the arbitrage. Um, and so really just trying to pick out what works for me. And, and so, so let me tell you a little bit about, um, is there right if I tell you a little bit like why I like the private label wholesale model? Can I launch into that? Yeah, man, for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. Yeah, sure. So, so one of the things, um, that I, that I love about private label is, so I probably have 10 SKUs that are in the top 10K rank of their category, and I own the buy box 100% of the time. So there is no you know, race to the bottom. I control the pricing. Um, um, you know, don't have to worry about competitors. Um, and so that's just an incredibly powering place to come from because once you start getting a line of established products, you can sort of predict, you know, your monthly your monthly income. Um, you know, you can forecast how much inventory you need to buy. Um, but one of the things that really frustrated me about uh, 
the arbitrage game was, you know, you'd find a good deal, boom, the price, the price tanks out. Um, and you either got to be patient or, um, you know, just sell right away. And, and something that, you know, looked like a great buy at the time, you know, sort of all of a sudden you're, you're barely scraping by with really thin margins. Um, and this is a cash flow game, you know, for, I don't know, you know, depending on where you are and, and, and selling on Amazon, um, you know, this is a this is a very cash hungry business, and so for me, I, I'm somebody who I don't like my money on the sidelines. Like I'd rather take a smaller, um, you know, a smaller return on investment, turn turn the product over. Um, and so, so this kept happening in the arbitrage game, and so so let me kind of take a chance at this this private label thing. Um, and so, kind of a fundamental way to describe, it, you know, essentially private label is taking a product putting your brand on it, um, and creating your own listing on Amazon. Um, so it has its own specific UPC, it has its own specific packaging, labeling, um, and it's yours. So it is, it, it, it's, it's totally your product. Um, and one of the things I just really realized was, you know, particularly in the uh, sort of the private label game, you know, people weren't writing good sales copies. They weren't creating good listings. They didn't invest in, in taking good photos. And so, and so really I just saw a great opportunity to, you know, start launching some of these products. And so, you know, it's, it's definitely slow and steady wins the race. Um, you know, by day I am a uh, national director of business development for a healthcare consulting company. So it's a pretty demanding job. Um, I don't, you know, I really don't have a ton of extra time to, uh, to, to vote, to devote to, to the business. Uh, my wife left her full time job, um, in January to focus solely, um, on the business and, you know, guys, to me, that's, that's what this is about. Like, this is, this is freedom. This is, um, you know, she was taking the commuter rail into Boston every single day, you know, 45 minutes, you know, zero degrees snow here in New England. Um, and, and, and this really freed her up. And so it has just been an, an incredible blessing. And, you know, I'm, I'm really privileged to have the opportunity to partner up with you, Sherry and Matt. Um, I really appreciate you giving me the opportunity to, to talk to your community because you guys are rock stars on the arbitrage side. And so I'm thinking, you know, uh, combining our forces here is going to mean some really good things. So I really appreciate everybody who's here uh, and everybody who's catching the replay as well. Um, you know, understand that your time is, is really valuable. And I'm just super committed to, uh, to bringing some value to this. So, that's a little bit about me and sort of how I stumbled into uh, to private label. Hey, that's great. Awesome. That's great. You know, one thing I want to address is we may have some folks who have like never sold a thing on Amazon before who are here. Yeah. And so when they hear these technology, this, these terms like online arbitrage and retail arbitrage, they like no idea what that is. So just real briefly, uh, uh, we can just kind of go over that real quick for you guys who, who aren't familiar. So there's four basic ways, uh, legitimate ways to sell on Amazon FBA. There's uh, online arbitrage, which all it is is just buying from online retail stores and then sell and, and looking for those price differences and then selling those items on Amazon. Retail arbitrage is just looking at the local retail, retail stores like your Walmart, your Kmart, buying those items on clearance and selling those on Amazon. Wholesale, which Michael can talk a lot more about and private label, but Wholesale is when you go directly to the distributor, the manufacturer of products, and then getting you know larger quantity and volume on those products. And then private label is your own personal brand like Michael's talking about. So I just wanted to put that out there so everybody's clear. So, um, well, this is awesome. So um, this is great that your wife quit. I'm just looking at my notes here. So it's, it's really awesome that your wife um, has quit her job. I think that's, oh, we got some feedback. That's really great that uh, you know you you guys are you, you're progressing in that and, and moving forward, and you've done this while working a full time job, which which is awesome too. So it's uh, it's very commendable, Michael, and and we're excited as well to work with you on this. Um, so let's see if there's any questions. I'm sure people have some questions about like the Amazon model, you know, um, maybe private label, <laughs> wholesale something that Michael can answer if you want to ask about, you know, the online arbitrage type model that Sherry and I use a lot. Um, let's just see if there's any questions. Uh, while people do that, you know, um, I think it's just, I'm with you, the, the freedom aspect is so key. Um, that's a lot of why we chose the model we chose is because we could systematize it and outsource it. 
And, and I think that that's the thing is you want to start looking at what you personally, you guys are interested in, what your goals are, because Amazon can help you get to those, whatever they are. Um, and for us, you know, it's to spend time together and have, have a lot of time. And it's been so wonderful because now we get to teach and both of us love to teach. So that's just been, you know, but it can apply for anybody, anybody who's on the call whatever it is you're looking to do, whether it is your wife um, it no longer has to commute and that kind of stuff. I mean, because that, that's the good stuff, right? That's the fun stuff. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. All right. Which I'm sure the commute out there is not fun, huh? <laughs> yeah, especially especially in the winter. Uh, you know, it was, uh, it was tough. And I give her a lot of credit because it's not, that commute is not something that I think I would be able to tolerate. So I really gave her a lot of credit. And it was just, it was really cool for, for me to build this with her um, and have her be my partner in this. And then sort of really, you know, have this lead to sort of a lifestyle that, that she's excited about. So uh, we're, we're really blessed and lucky. Um, and the Amazon opportunity has given us that. Yeah, for sure. That's great that you work with your, your wife. You know, we we started the business together and every step of the way. And people are always like, how are you guys both still living? Yeah. <laughs> how do yeah. you not kill one another? You <laughs> live together, work together? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> but the truth is, I tell people, I am truly, this is not bragging, I am one of the least annoying people to be in a long car drive with. That's <laughs> a little fact about myself. <laughs> And it might be a little bit skewed. I've been on some long car trips. So they might <laughs> it's funny. Okay, so a couple of questions. Are you strictly private label and wholesale, like with your numbers, Michael? Yeah, so I, I would say it's probably 80% private label, like 10% wholesale, and 10% um, online arbitrage. Um, I used a, and I hope it's okay to say this, I used a list that, um, that Cherry and Matt provide. Um, and so that it's, it's fantastic. You know, that's <laughs> unsolicited uh, feedback. Um, but um, so that, so I'm starting to incorporate that a little bit more, but yeah, it's probably 80, 10 and 10 as of right now. Cool. That's cool. Very cool. And then Monica, thank you. She thanked us for all our hard work and we appreciate that. Yeah. Thanks. Um, appreciate that. Leonard says, I see listings all the time with product from Alibaba. Some of them use the same pictures, and then just one that shows their label. <laughs> what do you think of products from Alibaba, or do you source from products? Do you source your products in America? Yeah, great, great, great question, uh, Leonard. Um, so, so first of all, uh, you hit on the images, and so I think one of the things that's really separated us from some of the other folks who do it again, is, is really investing in, in what you're doing. So we, you know, um, my wife is also a photographer. Uh, um, and so um, if it's a, you know, pretty simple item to, to do pictures of, you know, we'll do it. We'll send, we'll, you know, get the background done. Um, and then we work with sort of a designer who can just do unbelievable things to sort of Photoshop them into lifestyle images so people can actually envision and see, you know, what the product would be doing for them. They can actually envision themselves using it and what it's going to look like, um, which is huge. Um, and so, and, but it, we'll also source that out if it's a product that's difficult to uh, take a picture of. You know, we have a, a couple of photographers that we work with, so we'll, 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 we'll spend the money to do that because I think, to your point, Leonard, um, you're, you're, you're absolutely right. You know, a lot of people just pull stock images and all the listings look the same. And so it's just amazing. If you just do that little bit extra sometimes, you can really, you can really separate yourself. Um, and some of our products, we, get, we charge more than you know some of our competitors but our listings look so good our photos look so good so that so that definitely um you know uh, separates us in terms of alibaba yeah, i've absolutely sourced from there um and also i do source products domestically as well um you know i think there's a huge opportunity to one of the things that i that I wasn't crazy about in the private label world was the importing aspect. So if you go to Alibaba, you know, you buy it, you ship it over from China. Um, so I've done, I've done it. I do it. Um, for me, I think there's an incredible opportunity though. Just look here domestically and see if you can find some, uh, um, manufacturers that will work with you. Um, and, and then you cut out all the logistical stuff. And, uh, you know, that's something that we we've definitely done. And I think it's, I think it's helped. Um, let me, I just want to make sure I answer all of his questions. 
products from Alibaba. Yeah, so we've done that. Um, you know, and th my only caution there would be, you know, you got to get samples, right? So when you're going through the Alibaba process, you're, you're able to connect with their, I'm going to call them a sales rep for the lack of a better term. Um, and you got to get a sample to test the quality of the product. Um, sample is going to run you 80 to $200 for just one item. Um, and there's specific reasons why they do that. And I will definitely dive into this, you know, during our training. Um, you know, but you got to get the product and, 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 and get your hands on it make sure that the quality is what you would expect. Um, and so I don't have a problem with Alibaba, but yeah, you definitely got to do, you definitely got to do your due diligence on it. Yeah. And I think, you know, he gave away a really good tip is the, the lifestyle photos are big. Like that is, you know, you see products where the, they have the perfect white background and everything, but then they, there's no real, um, reality to how they would look in life. And the more you can get people thinking of how they could use it, the more likely that they are going to buy it. I mean, lifestyle photos are so key. So that was a really good tip. Um, yeah. Okay, Marshall asked, uh, Mike, I've done a little PL, but my first few products are small quantities and airship. When I start looking at new products, the assembly block has been figuring out shipping, especially C, duties, forwarders, etc. Any thoughts or insights? Yeah, you know, I, there there are some some really good companies out there that that um, that do this. Um, again, with my time is pretty limited, so I really pay and look for somebody to just sort of take this over for me, right? So, you know, I look to make a uh, develop a relationship with a, a freight forwarder, and then let them sort of handle all the logistics. I just say, here's where it's coming from, you know, and I'm I'm paying you and trusting you to get it to my door. Um, safely and you know totally transparent with the fees and everything um, but I think it's a one of the really good points is you know you talk about knowing your numbers right and so you've got to factor in you know all of the all the costs that can that can go into um, you know bringing a product here and so um, you got to make sure your margins are there and you really got to kind of go step by step and say okay after I buy the product at the cost, after I import it, after I ship it to Amazon, after Amazon gets their piece, you know, what, what, are, what do my margins look like? Um, and so, um, you know, and again, that's, it, we've imported some products, thought they were going to work. They didn't work. You know, it, it, it absolutely, it absolutely happens. You just got to keep, keep testing. But I mean, you know, again, one of the really powerful things I think is, so we have three products right now that are less than 2K rank in their category making over 100% ROI. And I mean, you know, Sherry and Matt, from your perspective, if you stumbled upon, you know, an arbitrage deal where, you know, you, it was less than 2K rank and you can make 100%, I'm guessing you would, with a, you know, price history that's flat for, you know, 180 days, I'm, I'm guessing you'd probably buy a lot of those. And so, um, so, so, you know, yeah. So I, the importing, it, 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 it is a little bit of a, um, a bear, but you know, if uh, you know, definitely message me. I have some really good relationships with freight forwarders that I could uh, that I could connect you with, um, and it, let them handle everything. You focus on you know identifying the products, and you know, and let somebody else who's a professional get them to you. Just understand what the cost would be. That's awesome. I definitely. I mean, that's that's my philosophy: is as much as you can outsource that stuff, so that the you have less headaches. You can focus on the stuff that really. Um, you're good at and you enjoy doing. Um, and I think uh, the, I mean, you're right. Those those products, that, that's why private label is so amazing. When you can have products like that, because yeah, I'd buy that all day, every day. <laughs> I'd have all that on auto ship mm -hmm. <laughs> if I bought a product like that. Absolutely. So, Sarah, um, I have been muting myself. I'm not sure if that's fixing the echo, but. Um, if, if other people are having an issue, let me know. Um, Apologize. Yeah. And then what's your process when looking, Denise asked, what's your process when looking for a wholesale gear source? Ooh. Yeah, so this is definitely a volume play. And what I mean by that is you just have to kind of keep um, – you just have to kind of keep swinging. And so really it's a reverse engineering process. I'm sure this isn't anything that's, you know uh, – groundbreaking per se, but you know, it's as simple as I find a product on Amazon that I want to sell and I find out who the manufacturer is and I go to their website and I say, Hey, do you, you know, do you sit, can we open an account with you? Um, some folks will are, are sort of 
very opposed to selling to Amazon sellers. Um, but that's really what it is. And so, you know, we just, we, we designed a really cheap website because they're going to want to see it. You know, a lot of places will, you know, uh, want to see a website and, um, you know, I paid a couple hundred bucks, had somebody just design a really super simple website. And so, but it just, you got to understand like, that you're representing their brand on Amazon. And so they just want to make sure um, that you're credible and that you're not going to hurt their brand. And so um, if you if you approach it from, from that point of view, um, you know, I've heard some people aren't transparent about selling on Amazon. It's not it could, because there are just there are some wholesalers who just are opposed to um, Amazon sellers, and that's okay, um, you know, to me, I'm very transparent. I don't open with, hey, I'm an Amazon seller, but I also don't hide it uh, because I'm trying to build relationships with these folks. And I can tell you the, the wholesale relationships that we have, it's much better you know, when you're working with them so they understand your world because look, if they're open to it, they're, they're, their goal is the same. They want to sell you products. That, and so uh, they don't really care what you do with them after that per se. So, um, so yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, it's as simple as, okay, who makes this? Um, let me reach out to the manufacturer. You know, we can you can set up through Google. It's like five bucks a month. Um, you know, Mike at company dot com. So like you have you know not a Gmail or a Yahoo or a Hotmail um, email address, but actually a company looking email address. And so really, you just want to present yourself as professional. Um, and just you know, if, if you click around to different websites, you can see where there are wholesale opportunities. You know, say contact us to be a vendor, um, and you just start reaching out and. You know, you know, you're not you're not going to bat a thousand, um, but really, I mean, if you just even if you can just open a couple wholesale relationships, um, you know, it, it's it's an easy. It's again, one the thing I like about wholesale, sort of talking about that model is, you know, it's it's there for you to buy. So when you're doing the arbitrage game, you know, it could sell out. You know, the price could change. Um, um, you know, everybody's got access to it. What I like about wholesale is. You know, they'll sell you a thousand units if you, if you want it. It's very hard to buy in that that quantity when you're doing arbitrage. Um, and so, but again, that sort of gets back to an open, transparent relationship with the manufacturer. Um, you know, because you we're in business together, and so you know, it's better to be open and honest and let and have them and work together on it than sort of be shady and not tell them what you're doing. Um, but yeah, process reverse engineer it. So look at look at the manufacturer, go to the website, reach out to them, um, and just say, hey, you know, I'm interested in carrying your line of products. Uh, how how, how can I open an account? Just start there and see what they say. Very cool. Yeah, I think That's a lot good, of good tips. It is really good stuff. And I think a lot of what selling on Amazon is. I mean, it's actually not that complicated. There's just some steps, right? And there are some best practices. And once you get those, you're good to go. And the quicker you can learn the best practices, you know, the faster your Amazon business will take off. But that's what I found. I mean, a lot of it is is simple and it's repetition. And once you get good at it, it's just a skill that will pay you over and over and over. And that's the thing I love about it. Um, yeah. Okay. So Marcus asks, how do you go about creating listings that stand out? I understand that you make sure your pictures look great, but what about your descriptions? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome question. Um, so yeah, for, we've tested, um, pictures. Um, and so not to beat, beat a dead horse, but you know, we, the conversion rate that we see on photo on, on listings where we've invested in the photos, um, is pretty significant. So it definitely pays off first of all to, you know, make sure you have good photos. Uh, and just think again, put yourself in the customer shoes, right? I know when I'm going on Amazon, like I'm not reading the full description. Like I'll take it, you know, I want to look at the price, the reviews, uh, the pictures. Um, so, I mean, really the next time you go and buy something on Amazon, just be the consumer, see how you uh, sort of evaluate a product. And that will sort of give you a good, good sense of how you want to design your listing. Um, in terms of like sort of uh, like the sales copyright, um, I think that's just hugely important. So like, so right, I have these, you know, these little Apple ear pod things, right? So, so when I'm right, if I were to write a listing for these, Right, so they're wireless. So, so a lot of times people just you know, start talking about sort of the, the features of it. It's like, well, they're wireless. Well, okay, that's cool, but what does that mean, right? So, you know, when I'm writing sales copy, it's really about the benefits, right? So, you know, I would say instead of, you know, wireless earpods, I might say freedom to walk around on a call without being connected to your phone, 
like that would be sort of one of, one of the bullets. And then I, you know, and then you say, well, you, these are wireless. They give you this, that, that. So really, when I'm going through, you know, first of all, use it. You get five fields to create your bullets. Um, and so again, it's a reverse engineer. So figure out the features that make the product attractive, but then really talk about the benefits. So if you're buying these Apple earpods, what does that mean? Um, nobody really cares about sort of the inner technology of these. Um, you know, it's going to go ooh, right over everybody's head, but they want to know like, you know, what does that mean? Why do I want to spend the money on it? So I really focus on, you know, the, the benefits that the customer is going to get out of, um, out of them, and so that's you know that's a sales copy, and and so good pictures, good title, good description. Um, you know, there's and again, it's just always that little bit extra. If you're willing just to put in that little bit extra, it just makes such a difference because you'll look at some listings, and it's just like you know, for these it would be like wireless, lightweight, and you know they're just so short. Um, and so when I'm writing a listing, I take a lot of time. I open up Microsoft Word, um, you know, document. I type it all out. I read it back. I mean, it, it, it takes me a few hours uh, just to write the sales copy. Um, and so, so that's a huge way to sort of uh, distinguish your distinguish your, your products when you're creating the listing. Awesome. Cool. I love it. Yeah, because benefits. I mean, people get lost in the features, but the benefits are what, what sell. Yeah. So awesome. Yeah. Awesome. And it kind of speaks to what you're talking about. So they can see themselves doing it, right? So they can actually see, oh, okay, this is why I yep. want wireless yep. earphones. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. The more you can paint the picture for people, I think it, it that's, that's what shifts people yeah. to action, right? Yeah. So uh, before, I'm sure we got some other questions, we but uh, let me just address that, uh, something that uh, Michael is going to actually be training more in depth on this stuff inside our course, huh? So you want to talk about just like some of the things that you're going to be uh, training on? Yeah, I mean, I really, um, I really, as I said, I'm really committed to to bringing some value, and I'm I'm a seller, guys. Like, I don't have products to sell. Like, I, don't have, I mean, I just I'm teaming up with Matt and Sherry because I really appreciate what they're doing, and I'm trying to learn from them. So, you know, they're, they're, I I don't like have a course or, or or anything like that to sell. Um, I'm just a real seller who wants to bring my experience you know, to the group and, and really try to just open another opportunity and ask folks that they sort of try it on and, and see if it's something for them. Um, but we're really gonna, you know, Matt and I have been talking about sort of the, the, the core modules. Um, and we're gonna talk about, you know, how do I identify a product that I think will sell? Like, what are, what are some of the criteria that I look for? What I'll tell you is it's definitely a mix, of, and it's the same thing as arbitrage, like it's a mix of an art and a science. So there are some certain like data points that you're gonna be looking for but then there's also sort of that experiential, I know this is going to be good, that may not show up in the data, but just comes through experience. So part of what I want to do is, is sort of help folks um, accelerate that process and, and sort of help them get the, you know, the, the art side of it. The science side is pretty easy. We can talk about the criteria to hit. We're really trying to help folks sort of understand that side of it. Um, another thing we're definitely going to talk about is Amazon sponsored products and keywords. Um, People wonder why Amazon is such a beast. You think about Google, you go to Google and you type, you know, um, you, you look for information. You go to Amazon and you type products that you want to buy. So Amazon has really become sort of like the Google of shopping, which is why it's just so incredibly powerful. So what does that mean? That means if you can have a sense of what people are searching for, um, you can understand the opportunities. And that's what we're really going to be talking about inside of the training, inside of the group is, you know, understanding what people are searching for, how to identify the keywords that you're going after, and what does that all mean? Um, don't get intimidated by it because here's the other thing that's really cool about it. Even if you're just doing the arbitra online arbitrage or retail arbitrage, understanding the keywords and sponsored products is, could open new opportunities for you and it will also really kind of help you understand sort of the products that you're selling and new opportunities to sort of leverage what you're already doing. I think that's really, really key here, guys. Um, so, um, I mean, uh, for those of you who do sell on Amazon, I ask, you know, you know, what do you do? Do you have sponsored products? Do you kind of understand what the keywords are? Or you, I remember when I was doing it, it was just, all right, let me look at the sales rank, sales rank, sales rank, which is a huge, which is definitely important. But inside the, uh, inside the course of the training that we're going to be doing, 
Um, we're going to go a little bit deeper on that. And I think, you know, not a lot of people are doing it. And so I think it can really give folks an edge. Um, and yeah, we're going to talk about the various modules. So private label, um, you know, what does that mean? How do you import? Um, how do you evaluate wholesale? Same thing. Like, what does an email look like to a, you know, a wholesale? We'll, we'll, we'll share some of the emails that we use. Um, <clears throat> And, and sort of the common frequently asked questions and pitfalls of trying to open up um, a wholesale account. Um, so I'm really excited. I think there's going to be some really, really good value. And, you know, again, I would just ask that uh, yeah, people just, just try it on. And it's, you know, you're not going to scale. I mean, this has taken me about two and a half to three years to get to, get to this level. Um, but I know Matt and Sherry are here to support you every step of the way, and I am as well. And I really want the, the training to sort of just start as a, a baseline. Um, you know, some of the stuff might seem a little advanced, um, but we're really going to – I really want to just go A to Z. So I want to start very at the fundamental level, and then as we're going through this, you know, continue to build it and really get what I think are the deep insights that are going to help you um, really carve out a nice spot for you uh, on the Amazon marketplace. Awesome. Very cool. Very awesome. Cool. I'm excited for the training for myself. Because <laughs> just like you, you know, for me, um, wholesale and private label are where we've been weak and I want to keep growing, right? And um, a lot of the way that we set up OA, having it mostly outsourced, um, you know, wholesale and private label also work into that as well. Yeah. Um, you know, some of the, the guys I know who do a ton of RA. Now, I do know a few people who have managed this down. Their time is amazing. Their margins are awesome. But for the most part, people work real hard in that manner. And, like, I'm not a big work hard. I'll work hard for a while. And then I want some, some good rewards. That's my goal. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I, that, that's, you, that's such a good point, Sherry, because one of the things, like, my wife and I are both introverts, and so we were, when we were doing retail arbitrage, it just felt uncomfortable um, <laughs> to, like, go there with, like, three carts full of stuff, and people like, what are you doing with this? And look, you got to get past it. We're in business to make money. Totally get it. We still do it, especially in Q4, but it's just great to, you know, pajama source, right? Just, like, just be at your home, order it not have to get the weird looks or all the questions or just the time that it takes, right? Like even just car, take out the sort of the uncomfortableness, at least for me, um, just the time that it sort of, that, that it sort of took um, to, you know, go physically go to a store and buy the stuff, bring it home, process it. Um, and so, and again, love, love retail arbitrage, especially in Q4, but man, it is so cool just to like, you know, be at your house, know what you're looking for, source products that way. Yeah. Awesome. That is awesome. Yeah. So you want to take a few more questions? We have about three. Yeah, we'll take three more questions and then we'll move on. Yeah, absolutely. So what quantity do you usually test with for your private? Oh, that's a good question. I'm wondering that too. Yeah, so, um, you know, typically the manufacturer will send you just two to three. Um, and, and, you know, you're, again, we're all consumers. So just constantly be putting yourself in the shoes of a consumer and if I were to get this product how would I feel about it just ask yourself that and also what has your interaction been like with the manufacturer um, you know you can kind of get a sense of the, the different companies that are on up and up and very well run um, and then some of them that are just sort of you know flying by the seat of their pants um, and so you sort of bring your you know your communication uh, experience with the manufacturer plus the product and the quality of the product uh, you sort of marry those two and it should give you a pretty good indication of you know is the quality here that, that I would be looking for as a consumer but yeah we, just two to three uh, items is, is typically all we need to sort of to, to get a sense of, um, on a product for sample cool that's interesting and then what do you use to research your private label products yeah, so so I think you know this will be something that that we're we're going to do in the in the training in in the course. But just as you would evaluate products for retail arbitrage and online arbitrage, um, you know there are you're going to look at you know sales history. You're going to look at you know keywords like how, how frequently is 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 this product being searched for. Um, and we're going, to, we're going to go through the tools that sort of show you how you can estimate how frequently something is being served so you can sort of determine, you know, uh, what's the market. And, you know, same thing, you know, whether you use um, 
you know, Jungle Scout, or we were using um, Viral Launch now, uh, which has been a really, their market intelligence tool to sort of predict um, sales volume is, is awesome. And so, um, you know, we're going on the Amazon catalog and sort of just looking at keywords, sales volume, and what we can get it for. Um, and those are, you know, and, and, you know, keep us, you know, same tools for online arbitrage, taking a look at the, you know, the price history, uh, all of that. Um, and again, those are some of the data points that we're going to very clearly go through during our training. Um, so folks really kind of have a, a step-by-step one, two, three, here, here are some of the things that to look for and here are some of the criteria that you want to try to, to meet in order to start identifying your products. Cool. Well, let's, awesome. let's take uh, one more question. Well, right here. What, pro- what portion of the process, this is from Zach, are too crucial or personal to outsource and what do you like to, what do you like to maintain control over? That's a good question. Yeah, so it's, it, I would say it's, um, it really depends on, on the product, you know, they're actually, so I think I write pretty good sales copy, but there are times where I'll even outsource that, you know, just have somebody write um, the sales copy. So, I mean, really, you could outsource the entire thing. You could outsource the images, the sales copy, the processing, obviously, um, you know, um, but I mean, really, so, and we do, it really depends on the product, uh, Sarah, so it's, it's, it's not a one size fits all. Um, but we are open to, as long as we're not going to hurt the, the quality of our listing and our offering, we're willing to outsource it. And that's going to depend um, product to product. I would say in general, I like to write the sales copy. Um, but again, you know, we've, we've paid companies to do that for us if we don't have time or, you know, we're just, how do we write, you know, <laughs> you know significant sales copy for this product just feeling lost. So we'll outsource that. One thing I think is really cool is that uh, we had a product that <laughs> Matt and I put together ourselves, and we spent so much time and effort and energy on it. Like six it, months. Yeah. Was it like it six had months? A, yeah. a, a, um, create space books, an audio book. I mean, like we created the content from the ground up. When we got to the sales portion, we needed help. Like. I was so close to it. I like I I didn't even know what the benefits were anymore. If that makes sense, I've been so immersed in it. Oh, and sometimes that outsourcing actually will get you better results. Depending, you know, if sales copy is your thing, maybe not. But for us at that moment, <laughs> when I did the copy, and then Matt and I, we worked on it, and it was just like going around and around. And when we had somebody else come and help us, it was like, oh, well, that was easy. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. Uh, Michael, we really appreciate you being here and we appreciate that you are um, giving some of your time, at, you know, inside our course and, and to help our folks. Now, if you're in our course or and if you're not familiar with our course, it's called Pajama Sourcing Secrets and it basically teaches folks, you know, how to run a business that you don't have to go running around to, you know, do retail arbitrage. But you, or you can do different ways of selling, you know, your, your product online. You know, specifically what we teach is online arbitrage and wholesale. Now we're adding Michael's model with the, uh, with the private label. So, um, I'm not sure. I, I see a lot of folks that are here that, um, love that name. Don't change the name. We've had some <laughs> confusion. Some people are like, no, wait, you just source pajamas. And it's like, no, 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 no. It's that you can work in your pajamas. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you gotta do the tagline, you know, how to sell 50 K without pants. <laughs> 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 so, uh, what I thought I'd do is just hear from, from folks, uh, real quick. Um, if you are not in pajama sourcing secrets, but you'd like to learn more about what Michael's training on and, and about, you know, learning to work from your home, like the kind of model that we teach that kind of thing. Uh, let's just chime in. Just say, just type in yes in the chat box. If you're not in, if you'd like to hear more about this, learn more about this. <laughs> and you know, it's cool too. <laughs> well, like, earlier I asked if people could hear me and it was like nothing and then yes, 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 yes. So I was like, okay. Yeah. So, but also maybe, who knows. Okay, well, I'll just tell you guys what we got coming on down the pipeline. Now, who who is in our Pajama Sourcing Secrets course already? Just type in yes if you're in our Pajama Sourcing Secrets. I see some people. Marshall says yes, 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 yes. Okay, so we got a lot of folks that are in here. Tell us a little more about it. Okay, yeah, absolutely, Monica. So, um, so if you could head over to that page there, hon. Sure. Gum Road. I will share the screen. I'm just gonna show. 
Okay, can you guys see our screen now? Oh, I don't have my chat up anymore. Let me bring my chat up. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. Awesome. Monica says yes. All right. Cool. So basically, uh, what we what what Sherry and I've done is we created a model. It's a system, and it basically essentially runs. Um, you know, the parts are working. We need to kind of jump in there and manage things every once in a while, but it basically runs. You know, in and of itself. And so what Michael's showing is is another system. So we've combined forces. So we have what we're training and then what Michael's training and we're creating as it. like, it's not just a course, it's weekly group coaching. It's a full on university. It's like, we're covering every from retail arbitrage to uh, online arbitrage to wholesale. And now we have private label as well. So it's the whole gamut, the whole shebang. So when you get access to our group and our coaching program, um, these are the things that we talk about. We talk about um, outsourcing. We talk about spreadsheets a lot because uh, you're going to, to understand online arbitrage, you're going to want to learn uh, spreadsheets really, really well. And Sherry has some really good training on that. Um, getting set up for a prep center, because when you get to a certain level, you're going to want to have product not shipped to you, but shipped to a center that's going to ship those products out for you. Um, that there's some like technical software type stuff, like tactical arbitrage. This is the way that we use uh, to get product. Um, Another way that a lot of people don't know this, but you can actually buy from Amazon and then sell products back on Amazon. It's called AZ to AZ Flips. So we have trainings on that. Um, lists. Uh, lists are huge for us. Basically, it's a way that you can get product uh, easily without having to spend a lot of time looking for product. Um, and then repricing, using the repricing training. Uh, excuse me, using a repricer. That's huge too, because when you go very wide on inventory, you need a way to have something kind of working for you. Um, so we train on that. Replenishables, now this is huge for us. Um, replenishables take up about a third or about 40% of our profit every month. So um, it's finding those products that are doing really well and just keep going deep. So we have training on that. Inventory Lab, if you're not familiar with Amazon, Inventory Lab is a software that we use that helps like what Michael was showing. It shows, it tracks the sales, it tracks the profit, um, it tracks inventory. It tracks returns, like everything that you can think of that it's all covered in there. And then um, pay-per-click training. Uh, we're going to be training on that. And I think Michael's going to be doing some pay-per-click training as well. Um, so you guys are going to get all that. And then, we, like I said, we have six months that you get access to all of this. And you get the weekly group coaching calls. Now, if you're in our course already, um, you get access all the way through till April. Uh, is when we end that, but you guys, you guys are already in, you already get access to this. Um, and so that's pretty sweet. So if you, uh, and, and Marshall says best group, best training, fantastic support. Appreciate that. So, yeah, I mean, um, I've heard from folks, you know, people really seem to like what we're offering. If you're in the PSS course, uh, what, what are your guys' thoughts? On it? And you can unmute yourself if you want, or if you want to just type in the chat box, like if you're already in, what do you guys think of what we've, uh, trained you guys on so far. <laughs> Jenny says, so blessed. Really great. A ton, a ton of, of information. information. That's great. Best group, best training. Ton of information. Awesome. So yeah, so you can see guys, we're getting some really good positive feedback from the folks that are in it. So for all of this, um, our, our price for that is $12.97. However, uh, we have a special that's going on, and it's going to go on until Tuesday at midnight. And if you guys want to take advantage of this, if you want to get in, uh, we actually have a special promo code that's going to give you $300 off. So that's going to be a discounted price. It's only $9.97 for all of this, plus what Michael's training, all of that's included. So um, if you want to do that, uh, get with me, send me a private message. Uh, and then I'll get you guys a link on, on how you can do that. With the promo code. With yeah, the promo code. And the other thing, too, I want you guys to know is we are, um, we have been uh, doing some courses and some coaching. We do what we preach. So we have a couple of different coaches, and we've been coached to basically shift some of our content so it's done a little bit differently, um, and our price points are moving. So, you know, this isn't like one of those false scarcity things. We really are shifting how to the course is going to work because the feedback that we've been getting is that we're actually charging too little for the sheer amount of stuff that we're offering. 
Um, so we are shifting a little bit how the content is going to be put out. So we wanted to let you guys know that I really, um, this is like a screaming deal. This is exactly what I wished I had had when I started. You know, this is why we put it together because I was tired of watching people struggle um, or get training that was outdated or was um, actually like damaging people's accounts because what was working, you know, two even two years ago doesn't work anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. So, yeah. Oh, and by the way, guys, I forgot to mention this deal for the 997 instead of the 1297. Um, we're only opening this up to actually three. So to, to take advantage of this, you're going to be one of the first three. So if you want to do that, send me a private message immediately so I can get you the link. So I want to let you guys know about that. So uh, let's just hear from anybody, see if anybody has any questions, final, final questions on this. Oh, this is love, love the life through coaching. Great other recordings to go back to to refresh your memory. That's awesome. Yeah, because when we do these life group coaching calls, we just put that as a module inside the course. So you can go back and, and retrain on all this stuff. So we cover a lot of stuff. Um, and then uh, Marcus, Marcus says he has way, way more sales, sales since, since joining PSS. That's awesome. That is what we like to hear. And Monica said, once in the group, do you also do one-on-one -on -one help when needed? So what we do is we answer questions in the group. Um, and then on the live coaching, it's something like this where you're welcome to unmute and ask any questions that you want at the time. We do a lot of that so that everybody gets uh, the benefit of the answers. Yeah. yeah. Plus, you know, another factor too is just like the masterminding. As we're, as we're adding more folks, we're getting more opinions, more ways of looking at things that we hadn't thought of. And it just helps improve the value of, of the, the group and the community. Yeah, actually, one of the places we're kind of weak is we don't do the gift cards. We do the rewards credit card, but we haven't ever put in a system to actually do the credit, the, the gift cards for um, OA. And so some people... OA is group, online arbitrage. Some people in the group, they have been doing that, and they've been chiming in and helping others with it, and that's really great. I'm yeah. really, really yeah. grateful for that. Okay, with the promo code, it is 997. Uh, time limit to of the group new is the time limit. Um, yeah, it was a year um, when you signed up, Sarah. Uh, then. Uh, so whenever a year is up for you, Sarah, that's when it will be. Does that make sense? So what, for most of the folks here, it's around April or so. And then as far as re up, guys, when because this is what happens. Um, We'll, we'll we'll get you once we get going. We'll figure out something else. We'll probably just a small fee if you want to yeah. stay. Yeah, I mean, the truth is, um, you guys, here's the thing. You guys are going to, I imagine a lot of folks here are going to have a lot of success. And it's like, well, you know, what can we do now with you? It's like, well, you interested in becoming a coach? You know, I mean, there's all kinds of different options. So we'll, we'll jump off that bridge when we get there. <laughs> but just know this, we just want to express about what, what value is it provided <laughs> to you guys. So if you want to take advantage, this is here. This is available. So um, let's just see if there's uh, any other questions. Um, any final thoughts? <laughs> you're getting pigs. Yeah, yep, absolutely. Pigs. No, for sure. For <laughs> sure. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and, and you guys are like the first generation, right? And, you know, and we want to partner with the, you know, with folks and, and, and just, you know, our, we're all about seeing you guys succeed. You know, it's just, sure. it's a great feeling. You know, we succeed, you succeed. Um, and we, you know, we just, we all grow together, right? So we just figure out a way. How can we all grow together? How can we achieve that new level? I was just reading, this is a great book, guys. Um, oh, I was wanting to share this. This is You Are a sure. Badass at Making Money by Jen Sincero. And I'll tell you what's interesting about this book is what Jen's talking about. And Michael can probably testify this as well. Comfort zone. Getting outside your comfort zone. It, and, and people don't talk about that a lot. But believe me, that's it, guys. That's huge. If, if you're not getting outside your comfort zone, you ain't growing. And when you get outside your comfort zone, it, it, suddenly your standards raise. And suddenly you're like, oh, my gosh. I'm only doing 30000 in sales in a month on Amazon. It sucks. You know, I'm only doing 40,000. That sucks. You know, it's because your standards are raising because you're going outside your comfort zone. Yeah. I once saw somebody who was like, if I don't hit $2,000 in sales every day, I'm feeling like I'm not making it. And the time he said that, I was like, really? Wow. $2,000. Amazing. You know? Yeah. And then it is kind of funny because 
um, you know, through through Q4, we were above 2,000, and then, you know, in Q1, we kind of dropped back down some, and it was kind of hard to go from the 2K days to, to 1K, one and a half, yeah. um, but it's funny, because that's where people feel like they want to be, just jump right to that, right, but it's not like that. You got to get out of your comfort zone. You got to learn, and you got to implement. You got to take that action, and then that's where the rewards start coming in. Um, and that's the, that's the thing, you know, you got to keep planting those seeds and then you'll start reaping, but you, you can't um, just show up and be like, Hey, I put in 10 hours of work. Where's my money? So, you know, I just want to like, let's keep growing together. Right. Cause we're growing and, and that's, uh, you know, our commitment is that other people come with us. And, and so, yeah, for you guys in our group, we want you guys to succeed. We want you to be the, the stories we can be like, wow, look at what, Marcus did, and look at what Marshall did, look at what Larry did, you look, know, what, look at what Sarah, Sarah did. did, and like, bam, you know? Yeah, that's our vision. Yeah. Okay. How much did the course impact your business? Oh, she's, Monica's asking uh, for, for everybody in the group, how much did the course impact your business? I already love sharing Matt, but it would be great to hear from people in the group as far as the impact it made on their business, numbers, knowledge, and confidence. Yeah, so uh, I'll speak a little bit to that, Monica. Um, definitely, we're seeing some numbers. I've been having people private message me. Um, I know one woman, uh, one woman she said that uh, she was um, just getting started within, a, she's just really within the last 30 days or so, um, she's already at $2,000 um, in sales. Uh, let's see. I I'm going to get that number mixed up. I'm going to get that messed up. I remember she was showing me that, She's she she's selling about uh, she was selling about three or four units a day. An another woman, okay, I'll just say this. <laughs> another woman who just joined in February, um, she just had her best day at eight hundred and forty-seven dollars in a single day. So clearly, she's she's moving in the right direction. Um, you know, yeah, you're gonna hear stuff like that. Um, um, let's see what else. We had somebody reach thirty thousand um, dollars in in monthly sales. Um, she was at around twenty thousand. Um, she got within our course, and she, now she's at around thirty thousand. Um, but you know, just the, the the stuff I teach is the same stuff I taught. I've you know I've 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 been teaching, and one of my favorite clients, and he was on the hangout with us. You know, he went from thirty four thousand to seventy thousand dollars in a month after one coaching session. One, right? So I teach you guys the same information. It's the level of what you guys take it and run with it. Yeah, what you bring to it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But I don't. We don't hold anything back. But yeah, no. feel free. Marco says we've gone up from sales for three days to waking up from every day now. So that's awesome. excellent. Getting a sale every single day. Wonderful, Marcus. That's yeah. great. Just getting started. And I just wanted to add, you know, um, one of the things I, I love, and I think Sherry, you just hit on it, is that you guys are doing this and you don't hold anything back. So it's really like. For, in, my, in my shoes, somebody wants to learn online arbitrage, um, particularly, um, it's just really cool to align with people who are doing it and sharing. And it's, I feel like, you know, you know, my business in that area is going to really reflect yours, um, which is, which is really, really cool. So I hope I just wanted to share that. Um, I, cause I think that's, um, you know, it's not just, you know, you just, there's sometimes you have like the courses or the videos I love how interactive you guys are uh, and I really just love that it's like you know we're in it together um, and and so that that that's very cool for me and what you guys are doing so thank you for that well, thank, yeah, you. thank you appreciate that thank yeah. you so Denise says your business has grown twice as fast since joining pajama source and secrets that the year before so nice. yeah and I remember Denise showing a day where she did fifteen hundred dollars in a single day so that's pretty sweet Really proud of you, Denise. Yeah. Denise is one of the first. Yep. One yep. of the first. One of the very, very first. Yeah. So very cool. Very cool. Okay. All right, guys. Well, hey, uh, any final thoughts, Michael? Uh, Thank you both. I appreciate you being here, man. You better go back to, you know, I will ask because whatever <laughs> happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Yeah, we're, we're right. exactly, exactly. Yeah, no, I mean, just just uh, closing comments. I'm just, uh, I'm. It's really a privilege to have an opportunity to to work with folks. I'm so passionate about this business, um, and so it's just really great to share. Um, and I you really put her out there with needles, did you? Whoa. Um. Hey, Jennifer. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, 
it, so again, I just, I really, I really appreciate the opportunity to, to work with you guys. And, um, you know, I think it's going to be a fun ride. And I mean, the last thing I was just going to say is that I was just kind of doing the math. Um, on the low end, I've spent at least 50, 50, five, zero thousand, um, on training and coaching myself. And so that brain is going to be there, uh, with you guys. So, uh, a lot, a lot of mistakes, a lot of money invested, uh, but that, but I, I'm really looking forward to bringing that to you guys. So I'm really excited about the opportunity. We're gonna we're gonna rock and roll. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to it. Awesome. Yeah, thanks for sharing that because that's important, guys. I mean, you hear that fifty five thousand dollars he's invested. I mean, I don't know if we've invested quite that much, but it's, we're close. It's pretty, yeah. But that would be between the two of us. <laughs> yeah. So so that that's you know I mean dang that's a lot of value a lot of investment going in here. To give back to you guys so yeah, the, yeah and that, that's, that's, awesome. that's the key right you know the more you learn you the more you give and the more you grow so yeah awesome thanks awesome. thanks thank you looking forward to learning from you mike right cool. on right on well hey we appreciate it let you get back to uh vegas and um appreciate you guys uh you know uh, for those who are in pss we appreciate you if you're not in pss we appreciate you yep. and uh we'll we'll see you guys uh soon all right. See ya. Take care, guys.